ください。Welcome. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to install roads or any file, any files um, placed in GTA 3. Image. Uh, it's a easy, very easy process. It doesn't take long at all, and it's very simple. But I know there's people out there that don't know how to install shit. So uh, this is for you. Um, you know, be happy and uh, guess follow my tutorial real quick. Uh, it won't take that long. So uh, basically I'm going to show you um, on roads, these are the roads I'm installing, this is just an example so don't think all oh, of some ugly ass shit, so this is just an example of what I'm going to install, so uh, let's just basically get started and so you're going to want to, okay. you're going to want to open um, your image editor, I recommend Alsa's image editor 1.5, I'll have a link um, in the description for download if not already have it. Um, so you know, basically you know, open it up. Uh, you get this. I got a text message. Uh, all right, so you're gonna go to file, um, open, or you could just click this button right here, open. And again, this is just an example, so I don't have my GTA models or my GTA here at the moment. I do have it. I'm just not using that. So um, basically you're gonna head to your San Andreas directory wherever that is in your hard drive your USB drive It doesn't matter. So once you have you got there you're gonna go to models and GTA 3 image file Make sure you don't get the cutscene the cutscenes the GTA interior and the player dot image This is this is very important. These are all image files, but GTA 3 image um, It's based only on It's called it's based only on um Vehicle mods, skin mods, tree mods, texture mods, house building. That's all what GTA 3 image is about. And cutscene is all the cutscenes in there. Um, GTA dot slash or whatever the fuck that is. Um, INT is GTA interior. Those are all the GTA interior. So if you have texture for your interior, that's where you import them. And player dot image file. That's um, that's your when you're playing in single mode and your CJ changes clothes. Um, if you want you textures for that, that's where that goes in there. But in this case, we're dealing with textures for the roads on San Andreas, so we're gonna go GTA 3. Image. So you're gonna click on that, let it load. Once you have it loaded, uh, you know you click on here, import, remove, exist. We could just go to actions, import, remove, exist, and there you can see that there's different ones. Um, the import is for your importing files. Uh, without any changes and you don't want that because all you're doing is you're building two files on top of each other that can be corrupted and crash your GTA San Andreas so you don't want that so you're gonna go to import remove if it exists click on that and once you get there you're gonna have your uh, the roads downloaded or whatever which ones you want uh, mine are here so I'm gonna click oh shit I'm gonna click on Los Santos and select them all and there you are once you have them selected uh, you can tell which ones got deleted. These are the ones that are getting deleted. Um, all these that are like faded, and these are the ones that are getting added. So these are the old ones, and these are the new ones. So just to let you know. So once you have this, uh, don't exit just now. Make sure you click on save. Once that's done saving, you can just close it. But I did add pretty much. Like there, I added probably like 50 files in there or more. Um, so what you're gonna want to do from there is go to actions and rebuild. Once you, it's really important that you do that. Uh, the reason why this this is gonna take forever, so I'm gonna pause the video. But I'm gonna tell you guys why uh, you should always do that. The reason why you should always do that is because um, if you don't, your files are everywhere and they're not organized how GTA um, made them. So what you're gonna want to do is always rebuild your image files so they could be organized and you won't end up getting op codes on SAMP or just crashing like crazy. If you do get op codes, that's the, that's probably not just that reason. The reason why it might be is because your modded or whatever mod you installed is corrupted or doesn't support SAMP or some shit. It, it all depends. So I'm gonna pause the video for right here and. Alright guys, so that finished, finally, uh, it took a while, 
Um, so once you rebuild your, you know, your um, GTA.image file, it's all nice and organized now. So you could basically just click here and exit, and you're fucking done. So basically, that's all you do. It's not that hard. Uh, fuck. What I was gonna say. Um, so like I said, that's all you do. Um, so. If you have any questions or any tutorials or anything you want like to learn and do I'm more than happy to you know do it for you I have I am about to go I'm gonna go to school uh, pretty soon so I'm not gonna have time as much as I do because uh, I remember I used to make videos like crazy but not anymore like, uh, I got kind of boring but I o I'm always here to help you guys uh, and if you guys need anything well not anything but I mean if you guys need any fucking like any tutorials made or something how to do this how to put skins how to do some other shit or whatever just let me know and I'll be happy to do for you so this is GTA inside cars signing